What's up guys, AC Card Shark back again. Um, back with a recent pickups video. I haven't done one of these in a while because usually it's an eBay unboxing or it's a flea market video. And um, they're getting kind of repetitive to be honest with you. So what I'm gonna do is um, I went to a couple stores and I ordered some stuff online that um, wasn't eBay. And I'm just gonna include those in a recent pickups video. Just everything and anything. Um, just, you know, some fun stuff. I went to, uh, I believe this was Target. And uh, this has nothing to do with video games, but it does have to do with some anime and some fun stuff. And I, I picked up a t-shirt that I saw at Target, which I just fell in love with because it's, it's my absolute favorite um, cartoon for when I was a little kid. And uh, let, me, let me just try to straighten this out for you so you can see it. But um, it was like 10 bucks, and I, I couldn't pass it up. And, and let me know if you guys know what this is. But it is Voltron. So it, it is a t-shirt, as you can see, Defender of the Universe. And it has Voltron, you know, in his uh, full robot glory with all the lions and everything like that and the big logo. Then we went on to uh, Five Below, which if you remember with Pixel Sandwich, we went there and picked up a couple games for like for five bucks. I found two games I'd never heard of before and I don't know if I should have heard of them or not. Who knows? I don't know if they're any good. They sound awesome. They're both for the PS2, both brand new sealed and both five bucks a piece. Um, so if you guys have a Five Below store and these look interesting to you, go check it out because they right I got this maybe only a couple days ago. Uh, the first one's called Innocent Life, A Futuristic Harvest Moon. And then here you go right there, Innocent Life, Futuristic Harvest Moon, made by Nat Natsume, which is the same company who makes Harvest Moon. Um, and it's basically, liter it's literally a, a farming game. Here, let me show you the back here. It's literally a, a farming game, but with like futuristic technology. So you've got like, like dune buggies and land rovers and I don't know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the second one I got from there is called River King, A Wonderful Journey. And there's the cover right there. Again, made by Natsume once again. And uh, I love, I absolutely love their stuff. And if you look at the back, it's got that little Japanese kind of drawing to it. Uh, this one is uh, basically very much, and again, right there, from the publisher of Harvest Moon. Um, but it basically is a fishing game rather than a hunt, uh, not hunting, rather than a farming game, it's a fishing game. And basically you come from a long line of like your father and grandfather were all fishermen and, and now you're a little kid and you have to grow up and be like them. It's just like Harvest Moon, uh, just that it's fishing and not farming. Um, I, I picked up... Uh, two items. One of them is for a friend, a fellow, a fellow YouTuber, subscriber of mine, and uh, someone who I'm trading with, and one is for myself. Um, I have a trade coming up where I'm going to be sending a, an, an old NES system. I have a couple of extras, and um, I, I agreed to terms to a trade with, uh, with Nunchified. And basically, um, I told him that I would it would take me a little while to get it out to him, but I would go ahead and rip it apart and put in a brand new 72 pin connector for him. That way he can experience the NES um, working perfectly the way I did when I was younger and first started playing it, um, being that he's just starting out to collect for it and to, to play it. And um, I want him to have the best experience possible when it comes to playing the system because, I mean, I just fell in love with it and have loved it my entire life. So basically what I did was I, I bought a, a brand new 72 pin connector off of NintendoRepairShop.com and I bought one for myself as well. So I got two of them um, because mine's starting to actually go on the fritz again. I mean, I, I, I remember I cleaned it a couple, maybe about two years ago and it's been fine for a while, but it's starting to kind of wear out again. So I, I figured, you know what? I'm just going to take it apart, put the brand new part in there, you know, don't worry about cleaning it. So, uh, so that's, not sure if you happen to be watching, that's, this is your brand new 72 pin connector that's going into your system. So, uh, just bear with me, give, give me some time because, you know, work and everything else, I'll have to, uh, to find some time to rip that apart and, and fix it and everything. So, uh, but it will be good and it will be working and we will get you collecting for that NES. So, uh, so speaking of collecting for the NES, uh, I just happen to, to scan across NintendoRepairShop.com and, and no, I'm not being paid by them, so don't think I'm, I'm sponsored or anything. Um, and they sell games. And I didn't realize that they sold games and the prices were really cheap. Now, all of these games I'm going to show you, I've got uh, eight games that I bought from them. Uh, obviously, all for the NES, as you know. And uh, they were all less than five bucks a piece. So they were all pretty, pretty good bargains. So uh, just going to go through them real quick. The first one I picked up is Rambo for the NES. Again, one I didn't have yet. And as you can see, the condition is really, really good. Um, and you know some scratches and stuff. I mean, it's it's the cartridge. That's just what the way they you know the way they look um, after years of, of use. Uh, second one I got was called Castle Quest, and again, really really decent shape. The third one I got, never heard of it before, but it looked 
just awesome. I mean, just, just from the picture, it looks so 80s. And it has a shark on the cover, so that's awesome. But it's called Treasure Master. So there's Treasure Master. Treasure, Treasure Master. But there's the shark right there. But And then there's the spine. Everything looks good. Um, that one just has a check mark. It looks like a crack, but it's not. It's, it's like a marker, like a check mark on there. Uh, the next one I picked up, I've seen at Video Bonanza over and over again, and they want like $12 for this game. And I really wanted the game, but I refused to pay 12 bucks because I know it's just a novelty game that I'll tire. Like, I'll get real tired of it real quick. But uh, Hollywood Squares. Again, I paid less than 5 bucks for all of these games. And uh, they were charging 12 or 14 there, so... Uh, next game I picked up was one that um, Signal Never Fades, uh, Alex Demoted, who, however you want to, to call him, uh, was just talking about this game. And I looked at my collection, I'm like, why don't I have that game? And so I picked it up because of the fact he, he mentioned it. It's Elevator Action. So Elevator Action for the NES was another pickup. Uh, the next one, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really stoked about it. It's one of the original games from like back in like the mid 80s. And again, it's like an $18 game at Video Bonanza. I got it for less than five bucks. That game is Urban Champion. The game is not that good. It's not the greatest in the world. It's just the fact that it's one of those original black label games from back in the day. And I didn't have it yet. And I wanted it every time I go to Video Bonanza. I, I go to see if she marked it down yet. It's still $18 every time I'm there. So I was like, well, forget that. Um, next game I picked up, it's a little bit marked up, but not too bad, it's called Orb 3D. Orb 3D for the NES, and uh, that one's like a $5 game at Video Bonanza. I got it for like a dollar, I want to say, something like that, off this website. And then the last game I'm really super stoked about, um, it's a game that Luke Morse is a big fan of, I know Pixel Sandwich is a big fan of, and I've never played it before, and I'm super stoked that I have it now. And that game is called Vice Project Doom. Vice Project Doom. It's supposed to be just a great, great game, and um, never played it before. It's by uh, Sammy, by Sammy Games. I'm not even sure who the hell that is, but uh, but you know Sammy Games. So, um, but that's it for right now, guys. I'm gonna cut. I'll come back when um, Mindy comes home, and I'll show you the the couple of Genesis games I picked up from the Goodwill, and that should wrap it up. I believe that's all my recent pickups. If I can, if I put them all in the same spot. But, uh, so I'm just going to cut real quick. I'll show you the couple of Genesis games that I picked up from Goodwill. And then we'll wrap up this recent pickups video. So we'll cut right about now. Alright guys, Mindy came home and I got my games out of the trunk of her car. Um, I ended up going to Goodwill as I said and I got four Genesis games com complete in box. I believe they're all, they all $2 a piece. Uh, first one I got was a game called Jam It. And it's a, just a basketball game for the Genesis. Um, Actually, this one's not complete, and it does have a label on the game. But for the game and the and the box itself, for two bucks, is not not a bad deal. Um, I like to try to get my Genesis games in in the boxes if I can help it. So uh, probably just a crappy game, but yeah, you know, for two dollars, you know, whatever. Uh, the next game I got is complete, and it's Tom and Jerry Frantic Antics, and uh, that comes in like that paper box, which actually has like a it's like a slip cover. The game's actually in there, um, but that one is complete. Uh, next game is also complete for two dollars. That game is called Risk, just like the board game, basically, and uh, in good condition and everything. And then the last game, I think I've already got this game for the Genesis, um, and it's not complete. It's missing the instructions, but it does have the box. Again, that's really what I care about. Uh, the Lion King for for the Genesis. I'm pretty sure I've got this cartridge only. Um, Again, if I do have it, I'll put one of the copies up for trade if, if anyone wants it for the Genesis. Uh, they also had two DVDs that were sitting in um, in the case, and I've never even checked to make sure they're in there. Yeah, they're, they're there. That's good. Uh, they were $3 a piece, um, which isn't bad, but I figured it's kind of cool just for our video game collection. The first one is called the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Never knew they made a Sonic the Hedgehog movie ever. I had no idea. Um, it's just, uh, it, it's a, an hour long, basically, and as you can see, it's just like a cartoon, obviously. So that was kind of neat that I found that. And then also, um, this one is, uh, 80 minutes long. It's got four different episodes. It's called Sonic X The Chaos Factor. And, uh, apparently they had a Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon series or something. I, again, I had no clue. I was never big into Sonic. But the fact that they had those for three bucks a piece on DVD at the, at, at the, uh, Goodwill, I figured, why not? Uh, so those are my recent pickups from Goodwill. Uh, recently, uh, as far as brand new games are concerned, I know some people have been interested in whatever new games I've picked up. Um, just the one game, and typically not a game I always pick up every year, but I picked it up and I'll explain it why in a minute. Uh, I picked up Madden 12 for the 360. 
Um, normally, I don't pick up the, the new Madden games, um, but Best Buy, if you guys are interested, if you're part of the gamer zone on the reward zone for thing for the Best Buy, uh, for Best Buy stores, um, they have a deal right now. I don't know if it's still going on, but I took part in it, and it's basically uh, pre-order five games between now and the end of the year, and they had a specific list of games. Um, you got $100 free, um, I guess, reward zone dollars or whatever, basically money that you can then respend in Best Buy. Um, and I figured if I'm buying these games anyway, this, 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 this is the only one I really hadn't planned on getting. Um, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Um, but, uh, I had four that I knew I was going to buy and I figured for the fifth game, for, for the extra one more game to get a hundred dollars free to the store, um, rather than just wait and buy those games when they came out, just pre-order them all. And, uh, it's, it's going to be like, this is, this is the one for August. Uh, I believe I've got one in September, maybe one or two in October, or one in October, one November, two November, something like that. I forget what, but um, you can probably take guesses as as to what I pre-ordered. I'm not going to reveal to you. I'll I'll do it on recent pickups videos, uh, you know, down the line when I get them. But um, but this is basically it was just a fifth game. I needed I needed a fifth game to buy, and this this was it. So uh, so that was kind of cool. I mean, it's not bad for what it is. It I mean, it's it's madness football, whatever. Um, and then uh, Mindy and I had our. We call it an anniversary, but it's our six months uh, that we've been dating, and um, we got each other some some presents. So um, they, ironically enough, were both video game related. I got her something video game related. She got me something video game related. Um, what I picked up for her was from a website called um, uh, uh, Retro, the Retro Zone. Um, and a lot of you guys, I'm sure, are, are aware of that. You know that she's a big Frogger freak. And um, what they have on there, are they have NES games and stuff. They have homebrews, they have reproductions, everything else. This is basically a homebrew that somebody made. And um, it is called the Ultimate Frogger Champion. And there's the box right there. And then on the back, you can see that it looks just like the original Frogger, but it's not, you know, for, for uh, copyright reasons, it's not. Um, but it also, which which I thought was kind of cool, it comes with its own Nintendo instruction book, right there, and then the cartridge itself is actually a green NES cartridge, Ultimate Frogger Champion, and it's a uh, it's it's green and everything else, and then it also comes with its own uh, Nintendo sleeve, which is clear and it says Retro Zone on it. But yeah, Ultimate Frogger Champion, uh, that's what I picked up from Indy for for our little anniversary date. And uh, for me, she actually, uh, without me even knowing it, I went to work and uh, she went to Video Bonanza of all places. And um, she, let me see, she got me a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it did come with it though. But um, it, it's a console I've been, I've been wanting um, because of lack of space in the game room. Um, and again, I haven't done a game room tour because I'm still trying to make heads or tails as to like where, where everything goes because I just, I, I have a good sized room, but just not a lot of space because I have a lot of stuff. Um, and I really wanted this system because of that to try to save on space, but she did pick me up a console, which I was really stoked about. And that is a Sega Genesis 3. And, uh, as you can see, it's really tiny. And, um, I still have to hook up, or, or I, right now I've got a, a Genesis 1 hooked up as well as the Genesis 2. Because the 32X and the Sega CD only, uh, I, well, technically I could fit them all in one, but I, I don't like to. Um, but again, for space concerns and everything else, I'm going to re, I'm going to reorganize the whole entertainment center. Um, and I want to, uh, I want to hook up the 32X, but you can't plug in Genesis games if you have the 32X hooked up. And I really don't want to keep taking it in and out. So I figure this will be my one that I play my Genesis games on. The Genesis Model 2 will be the one I have the Sega CD hooked up to and the 32X. And then the Genesis Model 1, I'm just going to, put it on display or put it in a box somewhere and just I have it I just don't need to use it so uh, I thought that was really cool Genesis Model 3 obviously it comes with um, with all the, the cords and everything and it did come with one uh, official Genesis controller along with the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 which I already have again if someone needs a, a, a Sonic 2 that's kind of like a Mario Duck Hunt most people already have it but if someone needs a, a, a copy of Sonic 2 just let me know and uh, we can throw a trade together or whatever the case may be so but anyway guys that's my recent pickups for pretty much the month of August. Um, there may be some September, I mean not September, some July in there as well, but over the last month or so, that's pretty much what I've picked up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, who knows what the next episode is going to be. Maybe an eBay unboxing, it may be a uh, flea market. Um, I think I'm taking a week off from the flea market, so it may not be that, but um, yeah, who knows. But anyway, until next time, guys, AC Card Shark, take care.